show except he is legendary on the comic scene as we are speaking today. You know him, you love him, Darwin Duber! Uh. Right? Because you wanted to 
decide something weird and memorable, but also express your true intention, which was, of course, to wish a good summer to your classmates. What I didn't know, and Marmalade later informed me, was that the local group of bullies, the bad apples of my school, they were really saying these bullies, these people who pick on people that raise their own self-esteem. You hear these things, these bullies? <laughs> Terrible news, these bullies. Local bully chapter 702 at my school <laughs> went around to all my yearbooks, prepared to have your mind blown by 3D. They crossed out mind and wrote in penis. <laughs> so now it says, prepare to have your penis blown by 3D. <laughs> also, have a good summer. <laughs> that story ends, unfortunately for the dudes. How did I do, do that? That's cool. The story ends, unfortunately for the dudes. The story ends with uh, expelled from school for blowjob solicitation. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. You're thinking Darwin. You're thinking Darwin. Not a thing. Guess what? It is. It happened. Got expelled. No big deal. Bullies got what's coming to them. Bullies grew up and became the band Nickelback. <laughs> Jeez Louise almighty, yeah! Doing it right in Wooddale. It's a party town, I've been told. <laughs> Learned about it. Uh, I'm gonna uh, talk about Marmalade. Talk about Marmal Pfeiffer. Marmalade Pfeiffer, folks. <laughs> Great guy, but a little bit wacky. A little bit weird. Not gonna lie, kind of odd. Uh, the second thing you like to do when growing up, don't know if you know this, second thing you love to do growing up, uh, you form a music band. Right? Anyone here in a music band? Anyone ever form a music band growing up? Clap it up if you, if you like the music. The music band, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Growing up, Marmalade, uh, he joined our band, right? But he would never play his instrument. It was, it was bizarre. We would, we'd go on stage at our little gigs, our battle of the bands, and he'd sit there, but he would never wail on his guitar. We didn't understand it. It wasn't like Marmalade was embarrassed. He wasn't a shy guy, not a shy guy, not embarrassed. He would hang out, do lots of activities, loved the activities. It was smart, life. couldn't get him away from the activities. But he never played his musical instrument. And he'd do all sorts of other things. Yeah, he'd go fishing, folks. Loved the fishing. Any, uh, any uh, fishing enthusiasts here? You know, that's the same response I always get. Zero, zero fishing enthusiasts here at Wendell. Weird, who still likes fishing? Do you like fishing? No. You, you, you're both embarrassed. You're like, she does know. It's her. It's her. <laughs> Acting like a drug bust up in here. Who has the cocaine? Her. I swear. I swear. It's her. No, 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 no. no. It's her. No, it's fishing. It's okay. You, you like to fish? What? You, no. You like to fish. That's great. No, that's great. Fishing's a great thing, sort of. Not a big deal. There's that weird saying about fishing. Right? You know this thing, the saying, this word of wisdom, folks? This, uh, this, uh, give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day, right? But teach a man to fish, he'll eat for a lifetime, right? This is what they're telling us. This is what they're telling us. But if you've ever been fishing, folks, teach a man to fish. Got to learn a little bit about the lure, right? Got to learn about the lures, the different type of lures to use, right? Different rods for different types of fish, different lines for deep sea fishing or regular ocean or lake or pond fishing, right? Got to learn about that. Then you got to go to where the fish are and how do you get to fish, folks? Woodday, Illinois, how do you get to a fish? What do you take to get to a fish? Go to the supermarket. Yes, but we're talking about teaching about fishing, not shopping. <laughs> I also go to the supermarket, that's my point. How do we get to the fish, Wooddale? Not the supermarket, we take a what, Wooddale? Boat. A boat, that's right. <laughs> Probably before you take a boat, though. Probably should learn how to, to captain it. Better learn how to captain that ship. Anyone here got a boating license? Ever try to get a boating license? Yikes! That's kind of tough, right? This boating license? That takes a couple months, yeah? A couple months to get your license, learn how to boat. Then you gotta make the trip. Now, if any of you have ever been fishing with my Grandpa Fitzgerald Dubers, you'll know, you'll be aware, that most fishing trips, hours and hours of sitting on a boat, right? Hours and hours. Lots of hours, sitting on a boat, zero hours of catching fish, <laughs> right? 
So I'm going to make a movement. I'm going to start a, a, a petition, folks, to change the phrase to give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day, but teach a man a fish, he'll probably starve to death. <laughs> I'm going with them. You get it. You're down with the dudes. That's cool. Spin it, TJ. Ow, ow. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> Always wanted to say that. We'll get it next time. DJ CJ, everybody. Clap it up. DJ CJ. Ow. Love it. Ow. Love it. Always wanted to do that. Next time we'll get it right. All right. I'm going to actually close up this. I have more, uh, more of the story about my friend Marmalade. Uh, but uh, I'm going to jump to not that. So you'll come see me to see the conclusion. It's like, a, uh, it's like a, a TV series. Come see me next week sometime. I'll finish the story. Want to talk about this, folks? Went to the bathroom a couple of minutes ago. Went to the old bathroom. Take a tinkle. A pee-pee, if you will. <laughs> Ladies, I don't know if this is uh, a thing that's in your bathroom. It's in, the, uh, it's in the old boys' bathroom, right? It's in the boys' bathroom. It's, a, uh, it's an advertisement for Body Beats Fitness, right? You hear this thing? It's Body Beats Zumba Fitness, right? Zumba Fitness, right? Zumba. Zumba. It's all, all fitness to me, right? Here's the, here's the thing about it, though, folks. Couldn't help, notice. Couldn't help uh, pay attention to the advertisement for it. But read it to you. So Zumba Fitness is the only Latin-inspired dance fitness program that blends red-hot international music Created by Grammy Award winning producers. Alright, we'll stop right there. Uh, if I'm going to work out, I probably don't care the type of music. Want to meet the fellow or the lady who wants to work out, but she hears about the music being not Grammy Award winning. Decides she's going to stay fat, right? Never really don't know why they put that there. Not really the point of the workout. Grammy award winning, gonna work out. That's what it's, it won awards for Grammy music. Good. Here's what the, uh, the advertisement for me shit dives, folks. Grammy award winning producers. I uh, can create it and can blend these things, blends the music by the award winning producers, and contagious steps to form a fitness party that is downright addictive. I don't know about you guys. Well, the dudes reads this, it's a thing for health nuts. Probably gonna be turned off by words like contagious, party, and addictive. Right? Sounds more like I'm going to a, to a, to a, to a gathering hosted by Tony Montana, right? Old Scarface holding a workout routine. We're gonna dance to Latin music, get an STD at a party, and get addicted to cocaine, folks. <laughs> Body Beats needs to get on it. Uh, folks, ladies and gentlemen, all my Duber Swooners, I have been me, you have been you, and together we are forever.